Hi Aries, this is your reading for the 11th to the 18th of July. Just going to give it a couple more shuffles. And then we'll see what the tarot wants you to know. Nine of Wands. That is the card of a wounded warrior energy and giving something another go. Giving love another go, potentially. Fortune after difficulty. Ultimate happiness. Ooh. <laughs> can mean um, family, a house move, buying a new house also can mean that. Ooh. Hanged man. Looking at things from another perspective. Gaining enlightenment. Looking at something that's been an unbalancing influence in your life from another perspective. Something to do with work. Oh, nice. Three pentacles cards in a row and the ace of pentacles at the end of this top row. A beginning in something, a beginning in a new job, a beginning in a new relationship, a beginning, an offer coming in from the universe is the feeling I'm getting on that. And check out the portal here. This could be some sort of timeline jump, some sort of stepping out of the energy of one thing and stepping into the energy of, the un of, of another thing. I mean, I often, when I see this, I often, not always, but see, it just has a very slight, small similarity to the world card in the way that there's a big wreath around the world, around the uh, lady in the middle of the world. But this is like a doorway, a portal, a garden portal, an Eden portal. Okay, so giving something another go. Giving a move another go. That's what I'm picking up on. It's something that you've thought long and hard about. And you're still undecided. That's what that's telling me. But also there is that unbalance, that imbalance that the Two of Pentacles can refer to in a work situation. Betwixt and between, are you going to work on this or are you going to work on that? I think you're going to make the right choice with this card showing up next. Or well, the universe is going to help you make that choice. Okay, so underneath the Nine of Pentacles, sorry, the Nine of Wands, you've got the Death card. The Transformation card, the Rebirth card. So you've got to let this energy of the past, this wounded warrior energy, feeling hard done by a words that I'm getting, you've got to let that go. You've got to let that to dissipate. Yeah, you are definitely, with this happiness move, this house move, which is what I'm picking up on, you are definitely caught in two minds. Because you've got the two of pentacles in the top row and the two of swords in the bottom row. And another two, three twos. So go and look up the number two, two, two. This is to do with, because it's coming underneath the hanged man. So this is to do with, you have inner wisdom, inner knowledge that can be conveyed on a larger scale. M something to do with public speaking is what I'm picking up on there. Not necessarily public speaking, but like maybe in a boardroom sense, in a committee sense, in a council sense. Um, people listen to people are going to listen to something you have to say. Five of Swords next, and you will be winning that argument, winning the day within that situation. This person has just won a battle with two other people. 
And as a result, they've got five the five swords. That those as soon as I touched the card, winning the day were the words that came to mind. And with the Queen of Cups next, that is suggesting yes, winning the day by by keeping your emotions in check. Don't let your emotions overflow out of this. Let's see what's next. Okay, Queen of Swords next. Good. Yeah, don't let your emotion overflow out of that cup, out of that trophy cup. Keep a check on those emotions. You use your head at that point. If you think you're going to get, if you're in this sort of board meeting, council situation, team group discussion, any sort of team meeting, and you've got the right idea and you know you have, and you're putting it forward, and someone tries to challenge you or argue with you, don't lose your call. At that point, don't let your passion overwhelm your head in that moment. Don't let your passion overwhelm your head. Okay, Aries, thanks for being here. I'm just going to give you your as above, nine of wands, so below death. As above, ten of cups, so below two of swords. As above, the hanged man, so below two of wands. As above, two of pentacles, so below five of swords. As above... The Eight of Pentacles, so below the Queen of Cups. Also, there is a working on love message there. As above the Ace of Pentacles, could be leading to a promotion if you get play your cards right in this situation. As above the Ace of Pentacles, so below the Queen of Swords. Okay, Reese, thanks for being here. Take care. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.